Welcome to Chiang Mai, Thailand. Where life is green on the other side. Literally. These people agriculturally sound. Okay. The soil is very fertile. And they keep water everywhere. So what do you need to grow? You need water, right? Fermigation system, right? You need to make sure that, you know, water is going to your plants. So, if you got water going through the plants, you got good soil, but you got food. If you got food, what happened? Your population will boom, your people will live, they won't die. Everyone here, Everyone here is the size that they should be. Okay. We might we might find a little small percentage of people who are considered overweight. If somebody says I'm chubby, that's a thick um in the hood. Shorty that's thick when she walks, she knows she the joint, because she know. Yo, it's so funny, man, how different cultures are so different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it could be a one culture, this could be looked upon as beautiful, and this could be looked upon as not so appealing. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on a tour. Let's go ahead and walk around the market and see what we can find. My objective is to uh, keep, you guys up, keep you guys updated on my journey throughout East Asia. I'll be in Chiang Mai for another couple of days then I'll be making my way to Bangkok I'll stay there for two weeks then I'll be heading to Pai yep I'm going to Pai, Thailand that's a low key spot do a lot of my meditation my objective is to do my objective is to do a 24 hour meditation 24 hours you know what I mean just to just sit there and just just to realize myself and just to be thankful for the fact that you know I'm here and uh, God is here you know and uh, I have to appreciate that but look look at the I want you guys to look at the flowers look at that you see look how beautiful you see that those are fresh flowers now you see fresh. Looks artificial, don't it? Not only are they agriculturally sound, they know how to maintain the crops and they know how to deal with all types of uh, different, excuse me, plants. Look at that. See? How beautiful these are. See? Every day, fresh flowers like that. The country is booming. Everybody, look. Shops after shops selling the same thing. Nobody beefing. Ain't nobody mad. <laughs> now look at these. I try not to get the people right in their faces. Because I don't want to be rude. You can't come and invade these people's place. And then your camera's all in their faces. Everybody's trying to be a YouTube star. Everybody's trying to have a blog. I understand. But at the same time, you have to look at these people and respect them. So. And uh, respect respect will take you a long way. When you come to these people, respect their, respect the place, respect their culture. You know? If they say something, it seems like they're talking about you, like when you go do your nails. <laughs> and they talk about you. So what? Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Ah, so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, man. Uh, look at that. See that? You see? Really beautiful. Flowers everywhere, man. Look at that. Flowers. You squeeze right past you. Thank you. Look at that. Beautiful. You see that? You see that? See? I was walking past and I said, look at that, beautiful. 
I guess the lady thought I was talking to her. She like, what? I just acted like I didn't hear her because she got a man with her. Those were English speaking people. Um, everyone I saw that were English speaking, I was like, hey, hi, hey, I was so excited. But they weren't as excited as I was. So my excitement kind of dwindled a little bit. So now I'm just like, I look at their eyes, if they're engaging, then I'll speak. But um, I guess people are coming over here to run away. So they don't want to, look at that. Nice, right? Right? Thank you. Right? Yeah. But uh, everybody's trying to run away. So, you know, they're like, you know, I don't want to be seeing no Americans. I'm not running away from y'all. I understand where they're coming from. But this is it right here, y'all. This is how I do my thing. I walk in the morning. We got breadfruit here. This breadfruit is real good for you. Diabetes and stuff like that. Everything is 100%. Mangoes, you see? Melon, 60 baht. You know what that is? Two dollars. 40 baht. You know what that is? A dollar 20. Or something like that. That's a coconut. I'm going to get one in a little minute. That's my routine. Every morning I get a coconut. Yeah. So, uh, dragon fruit, passion fruit, all types of stuff. You know? So, yeah. I just want to give you guys a tour of what's really happening. And look at the, leech, look at the leeches. And since I've been coming over here, it's my man right here. He's probably gonna try to hit me up for some money. What's up, man? How you doing? No money today. Look at all your money, man. You got money? Money, no. All that money you got, man. How you doing? I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll see you before I leave. Yeah. That's my man. Um, Don't look down on people. Even if they're down. Don't look down on them. Okay? Just because somebody got less than you, stop it. You think you are. You could have less than someone else. I used to go into inside this one store, right? I think it was called Up Against the Wall or something. And the manager of that store used to be so nasty. And one day I told her, you see this thriving store? There's a possibility. One day, it might go down. Less than a year. I had a clothing store. Less than a year, I was buying out their inventory. Mmm, listen to that. Listen to that. I bought their whole entire inventory, <laughs> including their surveillance cameras. I bought everything. Okay? So when I came to Elizabeth City and I opened, a, uh, I opened that store, Remember Black Label was popping at the time? At that time, I had purchased all of the inventory for Up Against the Wall. I used to be in Military Circle Mall in North of Virginia. But before then, the manager of the store used to be so nasty when I used to go up in there. So it shows you how God works. One day you're on top, the next day you're on the bottom. That's just the way it is. So you have to embrace where you're at and then help people while you're there. And then when you fall, people will be there to pick you up because they'll remember. They'll always remember you were there for them when they needed you. Most likely they'll be there. So you have to be there for people, man. Don't worry about it. If they can't be there for you, that's fine. The fact that you were there for them is going to offset something in your life that's negative. Maybe a bullet will go astray and not hit you right on because you help so many people. Maybe someone will not come in. Maybe somebody won't come and just rob you blind because God is like, nope, this is a good person. I help others. You know? I'm going to go in here. This is a t shirt spot. I'm going to see how, I'm going to see what they have. Okay? t-shirt spot you see that you see that one see prestige 
Brooklyn, real Brooklyn, California, bad dog. These are all nice t-shirts that y'all could come in here and buy really cheap and go back to the United States and sell them. And then that'll be a business for you. See, all of these, people will buy them to wear with their nice hats. Especially all them shoes that's coming out in the summertime, very nice and colorful. You see? These shirts, Bangkok, freestyle, freestyle, vintage style, all of that will work. So why should I not show you this? Because I want to buy the t-shirts to come sell them to you. And I want I don't want you to sell no t-shirts because I don't want you to make no money. No. Make your damn money. You ain't gonna hurt me. You believe me, thank you. Uh I'm gonna make mine. And it might not, it might be two dollars. And you make a million, but it's my two dollars. I ain't worried about what you got. I'm worried about what I got. And you know, I'm sowing seeds. One of you all might be the one who's there for me when I need it. Don't worry about it, Dread. Grab it. Now, you know damn well I got about a couple of dozens of these. About Marley pants. You know damn well I gotta buy a couple of these. You need to stop playing. These would be nice and beautiful. See? Something like that. I could have had these out there before the 420 and y'all would have bought them out and you know you would have. You gotta set your business according to the time. You know? Set your business according to what's happening. Don't buy the coats in the winter. Don't, don't, buy the, don't buy the coats in the winter time when you need it. Buy the jackets in the summer. Get better deals. You ain't gotta buy, you ain't gotta worry about the next style that's coming out. You gotta pick up meticulous pieces. Pieces that nobody else ain't gonna have. That's always gonna be in style. Certain things just don't go away. They gotta be the fad. You can get something that's universally gonna be sweet, whatever. So when you're doing business, you gotta watch what you do so you won't lose it all. But once you lose your money, you lose that respect. People don't respect people with no money. I see it. When they think you ain't got no money, you gotta play stupid. I could play dead. Yeah, you kick me if you want. I ain't dead, baby. I'm just playing with you. I want to see where you at, 100%. And you could have sworn I was dead. You'd be like, nah, he was dead. He ain't had nothing. Mm -mm. You could have sworn. Ain't that funny how you could be around someone and they could play dead? Yo, I think they dead, but they're not. Okay, somebody says something. Now, I want you to see this. This is all the fabric, okay? In America. Really down. In America, you see? You see the fabric? You see all the fabrics? You see them? These are all the fabrics you could need. Someone said something about a fabric. Okay? This is the fabrics. Dresses. Everything. I can't even go in there. It's crazy, son. Whatever you need, you're going to find here. What does it cost me to do this for y'all? It don't cost me nothing. But guess what? You'll remember that. And one day, you'll be the one saying, Dread, you should go here. They got this. You should go there. They got that. You'll be the one telling me that. You know why? Because I told you. So now you feel compelled and you feel happy to tell me. You feel good. You see these? Come on, y'all. I need to stop playing games all the time. This is what's happening out here. These people are not playing games. They here to make money. You understand? So they're selling the stuff you need. But it's about to be 15 minutes. That's what I can post. And I'm about to end this video by telling y'all, hey, love, man, and travel. All right? Chiang Mai, Thailand. This is the Rasta signing out. Okay, bless it.